to play police and thief. And I live to see Ryan, a lot of youth men who play police and thief, the thief actually end up a thief. And the police end up a police, and I see that for real. Deep inside East Port of Spain, where the hot spots reach boiling point, where outsiders won't dare venture, and insiders are bounded by borders, a glimmer of hope is on the horizon. Nobody would expect something like this to come out of that area like Bitam, you understand? While children like this one are watering plants, there are men and women helping them grow in a withering society. You won't know because good news is hard to get out of here. Today we're visiting four communities east of the capital city. Flanked by a police escort is the reality we face entering the likes of Laventil, Beetham Gardens, St. Bob's and Mentor Alley. In four more communities like these, an agricultural project guided by the Citizen Security Program is weeding out children out of a life of crime and giving them something else to do with their time. If you plant one seed and it grew into a big tree and then everybody could eat from it, why not we try that same method with the children? And whatever they grow with, they could pass it on because it's inheritance in Iran, bad habits. The children inherit bad habits and everyone blame them and say, hey, that's who they are. But now that's who they really are. Alston Samuel is the leader of the Picton Project in Laventil. As a Rasta, he lives in a Muslim city neighborhood. Yet he's one of the most respected men in his community. This Rasta city, Muslim city thing, you know, we are brothers. Because if you check from the Bible, it go back from when Ishmael and Isaac, they were, they were brothers. So it's just an understanding, we had to understand each other, you know, because we don't really have to kill each other to really make a difference, you know. We could disagree to agree. The Beetham may be on the opposite side of the highway, but the same principles apply here. This is Team Spirit Park, a small strip of land where scythe, celery and peppers are grown. Chickens are reared. It's scenic and it's sublime, but it wasn't always like this. This here was once a dump. And the more the youths of Beetham kept cleaning, the more people would keep dumping. That's when they decided they would start planting. They always think, well, we is a dump, basically. So we wanted to change the environment to bring a different scenery, a different ambience towards the community. And that was a step in helping we bring forth change. More than the image, though, this community garden, founded by Tafari Sobers three years ago, has given him and youths of the Beetham a sense of independence. Sometimes I come out here and when I see one of my trees bare, where I plant, I just feel so good. I just feel so good. I just, I just know in my heart that, yes, I give back to life, now life giving back to me. You understand? The fruits of their labor spread across the neighborhood. We all what we had here, we give back to the community. If there were green fig, if there were patch, if there were anything, we give back to them. With a smiling face, God, and I did it's good to know that you work hard to grow food and you could help people when they don't have food and they come to you. You could help them and say, Well, I will give this, I will give that. You understand? In contrast to that of the Beetham, for the youths of St. Bob's, they've gone from keeping busy to making it a business. In St. Bob's, they are using their produce. For, for commerce. So they would um, reap their, their produce and they would sell wholesale. We're now in Mentor Alley in Laventil, having crossed four different communities across East Port of Spain, which for many people would be impossible because of the ongoing turf war. The next man I spoke to doesn't want to be on camera. Instead of saying, don't want to wait, at the same time that you're waiting, plant avocado tree, then you're watching a man avocado tree to take your avocado. You plant avocado tree too, let somebody get to take yours too. From just one corn, he's now harvesting a field and has a number of youths under his wing. By now you get the idea that this is much more than just about agriculture. There is a much bigger picture to all of this. Think of it as the many seeds that are growing out of the muddy grounds as a metaphor for the many children that are growing with it. Ryan Bechu, CNC3 News. Love until.